Stop. Hey, Jérôme, une minute. Thumbs up from Jean-Luc Voyer. All systems are go. We're inside a minute now, T-minus 50 seconds and counting. As you heard earlier, uh, the Vulcan 2 engine will ignite. Turbo pumps will come up to flight speed for seven seconds, and the command will be issued to ignite the solid rocket boosters. The James Webb Te Space Telescope will be on its way. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Standing by for terminal count. À tous de DDO, attention pour les deux comptes finales. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top. And we have engine start. And lift off. Décollage, liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The rumble of the powerful Ariane 5 now being felt here in the control center. 3D animation. We can hear the noise and feel the vibrations here. You're right, Rob. Yeah, impressive. 13 kilometers in altitude, 7 kilometers downrange, traveling uh, about uh, 0.6 kilometers per second. The trajectory reported to be nominal by Jean-Luc Voyer, the uh, range operations manager. You can see at the bottom of your screen the yellow line is the trajectory plot perfectly overlaid over the green line, which was the pre-launch trajectory. One minute, 41 seconds into the flight, about 40 seconds away from shutdown of the solid rocket boosters. Flight control is very smooth. Trajectory. Five minutes, 12 seconds into the flight. We have about uh, three and a half minutes to go in uh, main stage or first stage uh, performance. And again, you can see at the bottom of your screen the uh, yellow uh, plot line overlaid over the green line meaning uh, we are right on course, right down the pike, and a perfect trajectory so far for the Ariane 5 rocket. All telemetry data are now received by the Galio tracking station, which is, clo which is close to here, where we are in Kourou. It will track the launcher back to the ignition of its upper stage, and then we'll, we'll have the natal station in Brazil, Ascension, in the, as you can see on the map, in the middle of the ocean, and the two last stations in Africa, Libreville and Malindi, one on the east coast, the other one on the west coast. And the one on the west coast, Malindi, you can see that the satellite will be, the telescope will be separated more over more or less over this Malindi station. And this Malindi station will also acquire the telemetry data from the telescope. You can see both are green, Galio and Dantal on this animation. It means they are expected to receive the, da the data and it was confirmed right now by the launch operations manager. That Acquisition de la télémesure par la station de Natal au Brésil. And just confirming now that telemetry is being processed uh, through the Brazilian tracking station. The telescope is also uh, processing telemetry through the tracking and data relay satellite system as it uh, moves further and further out into deep space. All of the telescope's uh, telemetry and its imagery ultimately will be processed through the deep space network in Goldstone, California. We pass the seven minute mark into the flight. A perfect ride uh, so far on the Ariane 5. We have about uh, one and a half minutes to go in the first stage performance. Once uh, the main stage uh, engine is commanded to cut off, it will be uh, jettisoned. And just a few seconds after that, the upper stage engine will, will ignite, and it uh, will be the workhorse for a 16-minute burn that will put uh, James Webb into its preliminary orbit.
the entire world is looking forward to the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. Let's hear more from a people around the globe about what makes Webb a scientific and technological marvel. Será el próximo y principal observatorio espacial para los astrónomos de todo el mundo y llevará más allá los prometedores descubrimientos del telescopio espacial Hubble. 它是一个由美国国家航空航天局、欧洲空间局和加拿大空间局开展的国际合作项目。Ni darubini kubwa zaidi kuwahi kuweko angani na inanguvu mara mia moja kuliko Hubble. Webb is so groot. Dat deze in origami stijl moet worden opgevouwen om in de raket te passen, om vervolgens in de ruimte als een transformer te worden uitgeklapt. Les cinq couches de son écran solaire le protégeront du rayonnement infrarouge émis par le Soleil, la Terre et la Lune. C'est un peu comme avoir une crème solaire avec un FPS de 1 million. Abhut purv infrared sensitivity ke saat. ये पिछले साढ़े तेरह अरब साल तक के समय में बिग बैंग के बाद सबसे पहले पैदा हुई गैलेक्सियों को देखेगी। दर फासले एक वनी मिलियन किलोमीटर की ज़मीन पर दो रखोशी खाहर गश्त। दर हाल के टेलिस्कोप हाबल दर फासले एक पंद्रह सौ शास किलोमीटर की ज़मीन पर मदार ज़मीन ख़राब दारा। Smooth flight control. And again, as we've mentioned uh, before, everything uh, nominal reported by the range operations manager. As we've mentioned before, this is a long ride uphill for the James Webb Space Telescope to put it at the proper position in the sky. So that it can escape from the Earth, basically head beyond the Moon towards its final orbit for its commissioning activities, that will be the dominant feature of all of the operations from the Space Telescope Science Institute over the course of the next several weeks. And the launch operations manager announced the acquisition by by Malindi by the by the Malindi station, as expected, for the last. For the end of the flight and the last part of the upper stage flight and the separation of the telescope. James Webb is about four minutes away from separating from the upper stage, and again at that point it will be on its own. And again, those milestones that we discussed a bit earlier in the broadcast will begin to be followed carefully by the telescope controllers. At the Mission Operations Center, the MOC, as it's called, at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore. One minute of powered flight remaining. The upper stage uh, continues to function perfectly. It's been a uh, smooth ride for the James Webb Space Telescope. Trajectory nominal. That upper stage uh, was loaded uh, pre-flight uh, this morning with 15 tons of propellant. For this long 16-minute burn, now about 30 seconds away from upper stage cutoff. And we're standing by for upper stage shutdown and uh, the cutoff of the uh, upper stage engine. Extinction OSC. Tous les paramètres à bord sont normaux. The extinction of the the shut off of the the cut off of the engine was confirmed exactly as expected. With the exactly expected altitude and speed and velocity. So now we are we have entered. 
the coasting phase, the ballistic phase, that will last for a little more than two minutes. And the telescope controllers uh, in Baltimore are confirming that uh, all of the uh, function uh, parameters for the James Webb Space Telescope have been loaded on board the telescope. Uh, we are expecting uh, Webb separation at the 27 minute 7 second mark here into the flight. Just over a minute from now, Springs will gently push Webb away from the upper stage of the Ariane 5. As it moves further and further away from uh, the upper stage, uh, there'll be what uh, we refer to as a collision avoidance maneuver. Yes, yes, Rob, exactly. The springs already will give some distancing, of course, between the two objects, between the telescope and the upper stage. And then the upper stage will leave the trajectory of the telescope and makes a special maneuver to pass the telescope and heads towards a liberation orbit and leaves the telescope on its, on its uh, orbit uh, without any risk of collision and without any risk of pollution towards the telescope. And we're about uh, 17 seconds away from web separation. Separation Web Space Telescope. Go Web! We do have confirmation of observatory separation. The James Webb Space Telescope, amidst applause here in the Mission Control Center, now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery.